Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm making a video on how to make your own server using hosttour.com. So, this is specially made for this guy right here, Jet Lit Hesassin. Okay, I'll sub. Okay, that's cool. So, here he is. Shout out to him, I guess. Um, so, um, yeah, so here you go. So, you're going to go to the Safari or whatever you use. This is on a Mac. It's basically the same stuff, though. So then you're going to go to, okay, it's really slow, host, horde, just type in host horde, and then it'll bring you to this, you're going to click on it, and then, yeah, there's not like a sign in or anything, you just go to plans, if it'll let, load my thing, so slow, yeah, plans, and you choose one, I'm using the pro, I think, yeah. Oh, whoa, they've changed the player slots thing. That's so cool. Because I had pro, and then they changed it. It was at 50, and then it went to limited. I don't know. You get the point. So, yeah, there's a bunch of plans. I recommend if it's just you and your friends, get the starter. If it's, like, just you and a few friends, and, you know, you just want to play, and you're, you know, you want to play more often than them being able to come over and start a land world and all that stuff, or they don't have their own like portable laptop, they just have a desktop, you do that, and um, basic is what I, this is exactly what I had before, but then they upgraded it, I got an email and it said they upgraded it to this, which is way better, I love it, and they all have, I don't know what bandwidth is, but there, so they all have plugins, every single one of them, custom jars, you know, that kind of stuff, so you click order now, fit a load, um, Server location, you know, I'm in the U.S. And then you go check out. And then it's going to tell you, yeah, you just fill out all this stuff, from, like your credit card information or your mom's. I use my mom's. Don't tell her. No, I'm kidding. No, I pay her every month. So, you type in, you know, your name. So, Day Logan. You get the point. So, you just fill all that stuff out. And whenever you're done, it should say something like, Whenever you're done, let's see, where is it? I'm trying to think. I don't know, but it'll say you can manage your um, account from... One second, sorry, I'm just being really slow right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it says you can... Oh my gosh, just whatever. It'll tell you a link in your email confirmation. It'll tell you Multicraft. So you're going to go to Multicraft, and then you're going to go to Servers... And then this is my server, so this is right here. So um, let's see how many players do we have. So three out of three. So I'll tell you a few things about this. This area right here, this is host horde, or this is multicraft, where you can manage your thing. So if you want plugins, the first thing you want to do is go to world name is also the seed, I think. I'm not positive on that, so don't quote me on it. Um, the port, this is this is your IP. So this is s42.hosthorde.com. And then there's going to be a semicolon, and then the port, so 25933. Um, players, you can change that, or I can since I have the pro version. The name, I don't really think it matters. Um, so you're going to have default. You're going to want to go down to your latest version. So 1.7.9 is right now, but 1.7.10 just came out. And you're going to find the one with this little number sign. You're going to find the latest one, which happens to be 3092. So you're going to click on that, and it should automatically fill this out. And then the fast way to get it is to go to files bucket get plugins and type in a plugin like world edit oh, world edit. and I spelled that wrong I'm smart so there you go it'll say world edit you can click on it and you can go check this to see all the commands and like what it's about and stuff and you click install and then you go to your server and you have to restart it for it to be activated or you can go here and type slash reload Either one works. I mean, if you don't feel like kicking everyone off the server, reloads better. So, um, yeah, it's basically, you can go to players, you can type in, I've had a lot of players, actually, I didn't notice that. Um, you can do a bunch of stuff, you can, like, you know, edit their role. I don't really think this matters, but you can get, like, other plugins and stuff. And if you don't know how to get, or if you want to get, like, some plugins, not all plugins are on, um, Bucket. So, if you want to, um... Sorry, I'm not thinking. 
just messing around. Um, if you want to get other plugins that aren't on here, like Group Manager isn't on here. So you're going to have to go to FTP, File Access. I'm going to quickly start a new. Go to FileZilla. It's really easy. So you're going to download FileZilla. You click Download. And I have them from the Mac, so you're going to, so I click on this. But uh, it's got to be in here for Windows or something. It'll tell you. So you're going to download it and unzip it, I think. And it should be on here. Oh, there you go. It should be right here. You're going to open it. Get it a load. Any day now. Computer. Are you there? Computer. Okay, that's weird. It's not loading. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so you're going to click on this little console thing. I don't even know what that is. And you're going to click New Site. And you can name it whatever you want. I just put day just because it's easy. And then what you're going to do is host, pull up this. And yeah, once you go to FTP server login from, where is it, servers. Click on there, files, FTP file access. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to take host. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, host. You're going to take that, copy that, paste it into there. Then the port's always going to be 21, okay? So you're going to put 21 in the port. Don't put the uh, 25933 thing. That's not what you're going to want to put. And then for... Then you're going to want to log on type. You're going to put normal. And for user, you're going to put this. You're going to copy this. Not not like this one, but, you know, yours. So it's going to be something dot, and then it's a few numbers. So you're going to copy that into there. And then whatever you set your multicraft password to like it'll say in the email it'll say whenever you activate your account I think it'll say your password so like write it down somewhere I put it in my notes in my iPhone so that's what I do so I remember everything and so um, yeah you do that and then what you're gonna wanna do is yeah you just type in your password and that'll be all fine and dandy and that should be good so oh yeah and then whenever you're done you're gonna click connect It'll start loading everything, then you go to, you can either type it or you can scroll through it. Uh, I'll just scroll through it. There you go, plugins. And then you're going to take the folder that you downloaded, the plugin folder, and you're going to drag it into there. Now, don't just drag it onto one of these folders because it will not work. It will put it into that folder and it doesn't work. So, you're just, I scroll down all the way until you find these little box things, like pages. It's not folders anymore. So, these are the folders. So, you scroll down and then you drag it into one of here and it won't go into the, f um, Whatever this is, the I don't even know what it is. Like, I think it's picture, maybe a logo. I don't know. Yeah, you drag it onto there, and it'll do that. And then, yeah, then you reload. It'll say like, "Are you sure?" And you click yes. And then, um, yeah, that should be basically good. Um, if you leave it on, one second. If you leave it here, it will be twenty four seven. So if you wanna stop it whenever people want, whenever you're not on you just click stop or you know like restart you know you get the point so it's pretty easy these are to tell you the connected players oh yeah soup's online hi soup i mean i meant <laughs> okay so yeah anyway you get the point so that's basically it thank you guys for watching the video um you know, thank you again. Peace out.